Hello everyone, good day and uh, now let's continue discussing our lecture 8, no, the design of AB waste uh, treatment and management system. So, one na taong uh, discuss atong topic 8.1 which is the siting of AB waste management and I really hope na nakita na to ninyo ako ang recorded video nga gi upload, gi attach or gi post sa inyong LMS. So now let's know na pod how uh, let's know na pod the types of uh, the types and functions of AB waste uh, management systems under topic uh, 8.2. So let's start. So agricultural waste management system or the AWMS is a planned system in which all necessary components are installed and managed to control and uh, use atong mga byproducts ato ang agricultural productions so in a manner na makasustain siya or or maka-enhance siya sa quality sa air sa water sa soil sa plant sa animal and also sa energy resources so AWMS in short is a management sa tanang ways sa tanang oras o sa tanang panahon and karon, let's talk again about the waste consistency. So during sa atong mga past discussion, I told you already na types of waste is very important uh, to know, uh, to know because it will affect or nakadepende nga to ang collection, handling, storage, and utilization. That is that is why we learn na to how to characterize uh, for us to know unsa ang nutrient content sa waste. And uh, total solids ato, total solid concentration sa waste or sa manure is the main characteristics uh, that indicates how the material can be handled, can be stored, or can be utilized. So, factored, factors that influence uh, TS concentration or the total solids concentration sa uh, excreted manure include the climate, the type of animal, amount of water na consume sa ato ang animal and uh, feed type. Diba like I said uh, kato before na uh, depende po ang manure or excreted sa ato ang animal o kung sa ato imuhang ipangpakaon sa kaya kung sa ato ang iyahang type sa confinement. And then in most cases kato akong mga na-mention ang consistency sa ato ang waste is ma-anticipate na to or ma-determine if we uh, observe or ato ang ginatanaw kung unsa to at ang mga ipakaon sa iya. And the TS uh, concentration of waste can be increased by adding sa bedding sa mga waste or i-decrease ang adding sa water and stabilize by protecting it uh, from additional water. So, in the figure shown na kaning ipakita dari, nag-illustrate ni siya how varying the total solid concentration for different animal manure na naka-affect sa consist consistency. So, ang consistency sa waste should be selected and controlled for uh, several reasons. So, solid waste management systems have, uh, have a reduced total volume of waste because of the reduction in the amounts of water. So, solid waste handling equipment may have a lower cost and need siya of power requirements. However, if imuhang labor, uh, however, imuhang labor required for operation and management generally is uh, greater than for the other methods. So, liquid waste food is a management system are often easier to automate and require less daily attention than uh, katong mga solid waste. However, the additional nga atong tubig na needed mag-increase jud ang volume sa waste requiring management and ang initial cost sa mga liquid liquid handling equipment may be greater than sa solid solid waste management system. So, operator or ang owner's preferences is also a factor kung unsayahan ka nang prefer, di ba? If prefer. Ang landowner may select a uh, method for managing waste because uh, that method is popular sa iyahang community or basi nakita niya sa Facebook na mas nindot siya and uh, it will be easier to learn from the experience 
mo ka pa mga share experiences sa mga neighbors and in case sa equipment ka ma-failure or na mga emergency, ang owner or landowner can easily assist each other if ever. So, balikod lang na ko, mo ni ang six basic uh, functions sa agricultural waste management systems. And I hope no memorize na ninyo kay yun na balik-balik na nato ni o discuss, mention, diba? So, this production, collection, uh, transfer, storage, treatment, and utilization for a specific system, uh, pwede ni siya makumbine, ma-repeat, or ma-eliminate, or rearrange as necessary. So, for the production, we know already na it is the function of the amount and nature of agricultural waste uh, generated by an ag agricultural enterprise. So, the waste uh, requires management if the quantity produced is sufficient enough to become a resource concern. So, a complete analysis of production includes the kind, uh, consistency, the volume, the timing, of the uh, produce produce na manure. So, sa production na ay mga necessary ways na should be kept to a minimum. So, for example, na large parts of waste uh, associated with many livestock operation like an include siya o run of contaminated run off from open holding areas. Katuna run off can be reduced by restricting the size of open holding areas, uh, roofing part of the holding area, and installing uh, gutters and diversions to direct and contaminated water away from the waste. In other words, whenever possible, keep the clean water clean. So, naa sa mga leaking water facilities and a skilled feed contribute to the production of waste. This can, these problems can be reduced by careful management and maintenance of feeders, uh, facility, way, watering facilities, and associated ng mga equipment. So, uh, record, na dito dapat record na we kept all the data, the assumption, the calculation, na we use to determine the kind, consistency, volume, location, and timing sa itong waste na na-produce. So, the production estimates uh, should be included uh, for the future expansion. And the second one is the collection. So, collection refers to the initial capture and gathering of a waste from the point of origin or the position to collection point. So, the agricultural waste management system plan should identify the method of collection, location of the collection points, scheduling of the collection, labor requirements, mga necessary equipment or structural facilities, and management installation cost of the components and impact that collection has on the uh, consistency sa imuhang waste. And transfer refers to the movement uh, movement and transportation of the waste throughout the system. It includes the transfer of the waste from the collection point to the storage facility, to the treatment facility, and to the utilization site. So for transfer, wa transfer waste can be transferred several times before it is utilized. So for example, a liquid or a slurry waste may be collected transferred to a storage facility and then to solid liquid or solid liquid uh, separator no moto siya ang gibali mahimong treatment niya and from there the solid portion may be transferred to another storage facility for additional treatment or reutilize as a bedding while the liquid portion is applied or gina transfer siya to a crop uh, field to supply plant nutrients no moto ang iyang uh, utilization so the waste may require transfer as a solid liquid or slurry depende sa iyang total solid na concentration so ang system plan should include an analysis as sa consistency sa waste na i-move so methods sa transportation kalayo sa transfer 
points, uh, frequency sa scheduling, mga necessary equipment o mga installation and uh, management costs sa imuhang uh, transfer systems. So next is the storage. So storage is the temporary containment of the waste. So the storage facility of a waste that waste management system is the tool that gives the manager control over the scheduling and timing of the system function. So for example, natay adequate storage as the manager na atay flexibility to schedule when ang land application. So waste na uh, when ta mag uh, spreading operation mag spread mag sa mga na produce na to na waste so dapat kato siya dili siya mag interfere with other necessary task so weather and field conditions are suitable sa mga nutrients sa waste na that can be used by the crop so the storage period should be determined by the utilization schedule so the waste management system should identify the storage uh, period, record storage volume, type, estimated size, location, and installation, cost of the storage facility, management cost of the storage process, and impact of the storage and the consistency of the waste. And then we have the treatment. So treatment is any function designed to reduce the pollution, potential, or modify the physical characteristics of the waste, such as moisture and total solid content, to facilitate more efficient and effective handling. So it is comp comprised of physical, biological, and chemical unit processes. It also includes the activities that are sometimes considered pre-treatment, such as the separation of solids. So before na to siya i-treat, dapat na asa tay analysis sa characteristics, characteristic content or nutrient content sa ito ang waste. And we should have a record uh, for that. So, a determination is also required siya kung unsa ang desired characteristics sa mga ways following the treatment. Dapat ma-identify na to ang selection, uh, selection of the type, estimated size, location, and installation cost of the treatment facility, and management cost of the treatment uh, process. Sa manure, na yung mga manure, na management treatment is yun na uh, include nila ang solid liquid separation, anaerobic digestion, thermochemical conversion, and anaerobic and aerobic treatment lagoons kung uh, ingan na ka dato-dato ang imuhang uh, agricultural waste management steps. So next, we have the utilization. So by, by definition, it includes reducing or recycling of waste products. So agricultural waste may be used as a source of energy, bedding, mulch, organic matter, or plant nutrients. Properly treated, they can be uh, marketable. So most common sa pag-utilize sa manure is the through land application. So a common practice is to recycle the nutrients in the waste through land application. So na a complete analysis of uh, utilization through land application. O na siya nag-include siya o... Uh, uh, using the fields, selecting the fields rather, scheduling application, designing and the distribution system, selecting necessary equipment, and determining application rates and volumes. Value of the recycled products and installation and management costs associated with the utilization process. And now let's uh, talk about the waste management system design. So, AWM's design will describe the management operation and maintenance of the waste from the production to utilization. These the practices to be installed, locate the major components in the plan map, include an installation schedule. So AWMS are highly varied and dagan kayo siya alternatives na available to use. The various processes mentioned na ko while ago are usually interdependent. So for example, if ang landowner gusto siya mag store of waste, uh, gusto niya dry and the waste cannot be collected using the flushing system unless some type of solid liquid separate uh, separation process is included sa ihang system. If limited land is available for utilization, the landowner or ang owner 
may need to select a treatment process that reduces the nutrient content sa waste. And now, because of the variety of situations into which AWMS na dapat i-incorporate, walay procedure na followed to arrive at the several system design. However, na ay mga guidelines na may be helpful and uh, money ang kani the following. So, first, determine the decision makers, concerns, and needs. So, unsa ang landowner objective along the along with the social and environmental concerns must be guide the planning of agricultural waste management system. Next is uh, determine the characteristics and the annual production of the waste requiring management. So, the waste characteristics and amount nga pwede makalimit sa alternatives o maka-influence sa management decision. If na ay mga future, future changes sa operation size and management, dapat sad na consider. So, na as ay mga nitrogen and phosphorus content sa waste as well as heavy metals and mga toxins, uh, pathogens and oxygen demand uh, material or TS na dapat na to mahibalan. So knowing what is produced, how much is uh, how much is produced, when it is to produce, and where it is to produce, helps the planners or kita nga mga agriculture and biosystems engineer understand the existing agricultural enterprise into which the system management must be integrated. And then next is the determine the alternatives uh, decision decision maker is willing to consider for utilization so this helps the planner know what to work uh, toward so some alternatives may have a specific limitation or requirements for the characteristics of the waste and the systems and uh, must be designed to deliver waste with those characteristics if the utilization alternatives involve uh, land application a quick check needs to be made to determine if sufficient ba ang land and available ba ang uh, available ba and when the spreading operation can take place. So, makatabang ni siya to determine whether the treatment will be necessary and what the storage period should last. And then, we have the de uh, determine the landowner's preferences for equipment and location facilities. So, the landowner may desire specific features in the systems or may have specific equipment available. These features dapat ma-identified and ma-discuss with the landowner so that their impact on the total agricultural uh, enterprise and their effect on on-site and offset uh, natural resources are fully masabtan. So, existing equipment and the opinions of the decision maker should not limit the discussion and consideration of the other alternatives. And then, last one, design the system beginning with production and ending with utilization. At this point, the entire system begins to take uh, shape. Ang mga management uh, requirements or safety concern dapat uh, ma fully address and masabtan if katong mga previous decisions may need to be adjusted or refined or eliminated. So, a good way to document the decision of the landowner is to list no, katong mga major processes in order in which they occur in the system and then record under each heading the pertinent information associated with the process. And now, uh, mag ta of typical agricultural waste management system. So, actually, kaning uh, topic is uh, discuss na ta ug mga typical agricultural waste management system during our discussion sa lecture 6. So, I hope uh, naka, na minaw mo ato ang mga discussion kay uh, na na mga design na uh, nag-mention or nag-discuss na ko ang mga design ato nga time. So, still, maghatag hapon ko og example since uh, para ma-refresh to nga topic na to. So, dairy operations, kani sa dairy waste management system. So, ang dairy operations vary and each operation presents its own unique nga mga problems like ano yung nasa figure. Many older dairy operations were not designed with sufficient consideration when uh, given to the waste management. 
As a result, the gun of mga waste, uh, design sa waste management system, nga nag-require of kanang major modification of alteration sa existing facilities. So, sa production ani, waste associated with the reparation maatay manure, uh, contaminated runoff, uh, milking house waste, gikan sa milking house, naatay mga bedding, spilled feed, and then mga silage na uh, leachate. So, for collection, uh, unroofed confinement areas must have a system for collecting and confining contaminated water or contaminated runoff. This can be accomplished by using the curves. So, uh, curves at the edge of the paved lots. So, the manure and associated bedding accumulated in roof confinement areas can be collected and stored as a solid. So, the manure can also be collected as solid in unroofed lots in humid climates. When the manure is removed, uh, removed daily and in unroofed lots in dry climate. So, nasa liquid and slurry waste na can be transferred through, uh, pwede magamit or pwede sad ang open channel na pipes or uh, portable liquid na tank. So, sa milking house na mga waste, ang contaminated runoff can uh, mas stored as a liquid waste storage sa pond or sa structure. Manure can be stored as a can be liquid or slurry in a waste storage pond designed for the purpose or in a structural tank. So it can be stored as a semi-solid in a roof structure that allows for drainage or excess water runoff or a solid in a dry stocking facility in humid areas the stocking facility should have a roof so for treatment liquid you no know, for treating the liquid waste can be treated sa aerobic aerobic lagoon na asay an aerobic lagoon or suitable liquid waste treatment facility so solid material can be separated from the stream through various of if na uh, through using this solid liquid separation ng mga technologies so energy production and other abatement can be accomplished through an anaerobic digestion or thermochemical conversion so following solid and liquid separation solids must be or ang solids from the waste can be composted or pwede siya mahimong bedding and then last one for dairy waste management system is the utilization so, utilization of dairy waste is used for uh, as bedding for livestock. So, pwede sa siya market ang mga compost nga na buhat and use uh, as an uh, energy source. But, ang um, commonly used for utilization and in dairy waste nga mga manure is through land application. And uh, for beef waste management system and um, production of waste associated with confined beef operation that like includes the uh, manure uh, bedding and contaminated runoff. Aside sa ilahang as created ng manure, pwede said ang bedding and contaminated runoff as uh, their production sa ilahang waste. So, for beef cattle can be confined or unpaved, no? Plus, aning na as a figure. So, partly paved or totally paved lots. So, if the cattle are concentrated near wells, adequate protection must be provided to prevent the contaminate ang well. So, because much of the waste is deposited around the watering and feeding facilities, paving these areas which allows frequent scraping by may be desirable. So, sa transfer, the method used to transfer sa mga waste, depende, uh, nag-depend siya sa consistency sa waste. So, if liquid waste and slurries, pwede siya siya matransfer through open channel or uh, pipes or in a portable liquid tank. So, pumps can be, can be used as needed. And sa solids and semi-solids, it can be transferred by using the mechanical conveyance equipment by pushing the way pushing the waste 
down sa curb or the sa mga concrete na mga alleys and by transporting the waste into solid manure na mga spreader. So, piston pumps or air pressure can be used to transfer so semi-solid waste through uh, mga large na mga tanks or I, I mean large na mga pipes. So, manure can also be stored as a bedded pack in the confinement area if ang bedding is added in sufficient na mga quantities. So, manure can remove can be removed from the confinement area and can be stored as a liquid or slurry in an earthen uh, pan or structural tank. Ang semi-solid is an unroofed structure that allows drainage of katong mga excess water and runoff to waste storage pond or a solid in a dry stocking facility designed for storage. So in areas in high precipitation, dapat na atay dry stocking facility should be kanang na ay atop like an na sa figure na ho ang gipakita. So contaminated, contaminated runoff must be stored as a liquid in a waste storage pond or structure. So treatment of the waste in a lagoon is difficult for some livestock systems because of the volume of solids in the waste. But many of the solids can be removed with settling basins or mechanical solid or liquid na mga separators. So liquid waste may be treated in an aerobic na lagoon or an aerobic lagoons or other suitable liquid waste treatment facility. Solids can also be diba, composted. So for utilization, uh, beef cattle waste can be used a bedding for livestock. No same with the uh, dairy as an as an energy source, or it can be marketed uh, through composting. So, but most commonly used for utilization for again for beef na mga waste is for land application. So the waste can can be hauled or distributed over the land in appropriate spreading device. So, liquid waste can be distributed through irrigation system and slurries can be applied using irrigation equipment with nozzles that have a large opening. And uh, for swine waste management systems, so swine are typically raised ba, in a total confinement. So, open systems like atong sa pastures and sa woodlots and feedlot systems are less common than in the past. But, are still used in swine production for specialty markets and a small nga mga farms, no, kana mga backyard no, mga farms. And sometimes in a combination with a uh, partial uh, confinement like aning na sa picture. No? So na ay mga different kuan sa swine. And uh, production for swine waste associated with swine operation includes manure and possibly contaminated nga mga runoff kay uh, ginaliguan mo nato na everyday ang mga swine. So in some systems, provision must be made to manage a uh, flush water. So hogs tend to play with the watering facilities or and the feeding ng mga facilities which can add uh, to the waste load. So the disposal of dead pigs uh, uh, maybe a resource concern in some operation, but in some lang. And uh, for collections of swine manure can be collected by scraping or flushing. So, so scrape manure is collected as a solid or slurry and uh, can be flush manure. Must be ang um, flush manure must be handled as a liquid. So, ang um, flush water should be recycled if possible so that the volume of contaminated water is kept to a minimum. The collection process can use automated equipment or it can be as simple as raising a uh, swine or slotted floor over storage, a waste storage pits like anina as a picture. And for the storage of swine manure, it can be stored as a slurry solid or a liquid. If stored as a solid, it should be protected from the precipitation and above or below the ground ground tanks like anong nasa picture. So, or an earthen waste storage pond and can be used to store slurries or liquid from the swine. 
So for treatment, uh, treatment liquid waste from a swine operation is commonly treated in an aerobic lagoon like an in a picture. So, but it can also be treated in an aerobic lagoon or solid or liquid separation processes. Solid waste and swine mortalities can be composted. So utilization of swine manure can also be used as an energy source through an aerobic digestion or thermochemical conversion process, which uh, with proper ventilation and sufficient bedding, the solid manure can be composted in unconfinement uh, facilities. And the heat generated from the composting process can be used as uh, to supplement heat in the buildings. Kaya na ay mga country, mga places na bugnaw ang ilahang mga lugar. And they use this uh, manure sa waste I waste sa swine no for heat supplement sa heat sa buildings and then and uh, I think kana lang sa siguro ko example because the rest of the AWMS design is na discuss na nako siya sa lecture six and uh, mas na discuss na ko siya uh, kanang mas na discuss na ko siya utarong ato and if I discuss man ako siya karoon, wala na ako nagbalik-balik. So, please, study lang ato inyong mga na-research about sa inyong assignment na akong gihatag. Kay some of you na-research ako ang reference. Diba? And I hope basahon to ninyo it is because dito na tanan na kung ikuha ako ang ang lecture. Okay? And and that's it guys and that ends our discussion for lecture 8.2 and if you have any clarification questions about uh sa ato mga na discuss about sa past mga na discuss mga recorded videos you can uh, contact me anytime sa ako sa to ang group chat or you can direct message me through messenger and bye see you next uh, video see you in the next video